I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race, every move is on. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Swim View, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Well, as you might have seen from the title and thumbnail of this video today, we are going to be seeing how dating apps are scamming you in the world of 2023, ladies and gentlemen. But before that, let me show you something, ladies and gentlemen. So, first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, before going on with the video, I wanted to say October 14 is going to be one of the biggest boxing matches history in the world. And if you do want to check that out, the zone, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. Links are down in the description below. And first and foremost, October 14, KSI and Logan Paul. KSI is fighting with Tommy Fury, and Logan Paul is fighting with Dylan Dennis, ladies and gentlemen. A prime example of today's video. Well, you might have seen what is happening with the latest situation between Logan Paul's wife, you know. Logan Paul did get married to a girl named Nina uh, before, you know, before she was in uh, introduced into the world of Logan Paul. She was with a lot of, you know, high-end profile actors such as Leonardo DiCaprio and so many other basketball players. And that has came into the result of the face-off between Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, if you have seen this video, you might have known what am I talking about. Take it one second, ladies and gentlemen. But if you have not yet seen the video and if you are not yet clear on what has happened on the recent times between the, what to say, the face-off between Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis, let me elaborate, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, face-off has gone a long way way back since the start of the boxing careers where you know both of the players you know, get together in a little bit of combat sports in terms of verbals ladies and gentlemen but it has gone so far that Dylan had Dylan had make a lot of bad comments about Logan Paul's current wife Nina ladies and gentlemen and that has put it I mean put up a long you know a long wait of a lot of other problems between Logan Paul and his wife on the behind the scenes ladies and gentlemen and and I just wanted to say before starting off this video ladies and gentlemen Dylan Dennis I know the face off has to go like this but you just took it a little bit too far ladies and gentlemen I wanted to say this and obviously you could you know in a face off everything comes into play you can obviously scratch all of your you know opponents players his uh, past history all of that but don't bring opponent's wife into this matter ladies and gentlemen she might be loyal she might not be loyal that's up to them that's the personal issues you might not bring that into the world of you know this thing ladies and gentlemen that is that is the one that i wanted to say about this ladies and gentlemen and who this aiden rush guy supporting everything that this guy says obviously he has been you know uh dylan Dennis has shown you know if you have seen his last tweets ladies and gentlemen he has shown a lot of you know photos and other things uh to Dylan Dennis as well as he has shot a lot of things about uh, Dylan Dan I mean sorry Logan Paul's role on the you know Twitter as well as Instagram page she has, I mean uh, showing that she has been with a lot of uh, other cinema stars but uh, that's not the issue ladies and gentlemen he also told that he has this particular picture that may be a little bit too wild to be shown on the internet ladies and gentlemen but with that said ladies and gentlemen he also you know, went to Aiden Ross's Aiden Ross team. If you are not seeing that, I'll put a video up up on the screen right now. But who's this Aiden Ross guy? You know, always supporting Dylan Dennis. Uh, you you know, it is up. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting too much frustrated into this, ladies and gentlemen, because although there has been a lot of you know bad times in the past with Nina, you know, Logan Paul's wife. She is trying to come clean of all, out of all of that and she is trying to stay out of the spotlight on all of these, uh, you know, face-offs, ladies and gentlemen. And why is Raiden Ross supporting this? If, he, if you know, if Dylan Dennis has showed that picture to a Aiden Ross, the first thing that he has to do is slap the shit out of him on his face, ladies and gentlemen, and say, this is too wrong, this is not good. And why is he supporting all of this, ladies and gentlemen? And to Logan Paul, if you're watching this man, usually guys, on these scenarios, I usually do not support any of the, you know, I do not support a single person and I wanted to tell him that, I hope you, he wins, I hope he wins because uh, then you people might be, you know, in the comments saying that what uh, you are supporting this guy because you follow this guy on a regular basis. But I wanted to say this, ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, this match, I really want Logan Paul to kick the shit out of Dylan Dennis back to his past memory, ladies and gentlemen. And with that said, I don't want to get into much controversy about this. And if you have not seen the face off between any of them, check out the disown 
YouTube channel ladies and gentlemen links are down in the description below with that said ladies and gentlemen let's get on with today's video ladies and gentlemen watch on the today we are going to be diving deep into the world of the dark side of dating apps ladies and gentlemen well if you might be an introvert and you might be finding difficult to uh, you know to speak to a person of you know that who is going to spend their time with you for your entire life ladies and gentlemen and to that people you might think dating apps are a good way to start off you know talking to random persons and finding if they are the correct one to you know for your life and for your future ladies and gentlemen in that sense all of the dating apps that you know popular dating apps that you know ladies and gentlemen have got that specific thing in their mind and they have designed such that you cannot even find any other girl on the goddamn planet ladies and gentlemen even if you are an introvert or an external extrovert ladies and gentlemen take me for example uh, i'll display my you know app store page ladies and gentlemen and if you type in dating apps whatever dating apps and random video chats that are available on the market as of right now everything i have used ladies and gentlemen i'll put it up on the screen now you can see it but here's the here's the fucked up part about this ladies and gentlemen first and foremost before introducing off ladies and gentlemen you know the one of the biggest guys on the platform of dating apps is going to be tinder ladies and gentlemen and you might be thinking you know tinder has no subscription platforms unless if you want to is it a prime member but still if you do want to check that out ladies and i mean sorry if you do want to check it out you just have to create a new account create uh, you know put your description on how you are how you present yourself but grab a couple of photos on there and blam it takes your location it i mean gonna give you a location status and shows how many women are there women or men anyway uh, around you and around your area or sometimes if you are not you know if you are in a rural area it shows a little bit far too well here's the hidden part about that dating apps ladies and gentlemen every single dating app on the planet has the same platform as tinder does ladies and gentlemen you might have known about hinge you might have known about tinder you might have known about what is that a uh, bumble you might have uh, heard about neetam tabal matrimony ale all of the dating apps that you see on your you know youtube ads have every single app has the same startup and login page ladies and gentlemen but here are the some of, some of the hidden costs that dating apps doesn't tell you about and i'm going to share with you ladies and gentlemen obviously if you are into a tinder app let's give you an example right now well if you are in a tinder app you find out a lot of girls obviously i'm not going to show you that because of you know privacy issues but <laughs> here are you know uh, lures users with a free sign in as i told you before but later push them to subscribe here's what i mean because if you like a person obviously you're going to give it as a like and if they you know in case if they like you too they're gonna give you a like back and you're gonna be matched up ladies and gentlemen here's the fucked up part in all of the dating apps that you see right now well after you and a certain person obviously match up the first thing that you're gonna do is obviously text that person a hi a good evening a warm welcome to ladies and gentlemen and is the fucked up part in most of the dating apps including tinder and other apps too ladies and gentlemen most of the tinder apps do not allow you know messages more than i think so five to ten messages that are the free messages that you have ladies and gentlemen on every single dating platform and if you want to continue the chat a little bit longer you have to start paying a little bit more and the amount that they are asking on every single dating app is tremendous ladies and gentlemen starting up on the low bottom tier as 500 rupees starting all the way to the top at about 2000 3000 all the way tinder even has a gold subscription or a platinum subscription that cost about 5k ladies and gentlemen think of all the things that you can do with 5k you can take your perfect girl out to a date for 5k ladies and gentlemen you can go out for a dinner on a five star restaurant that is fully free for piece 3000 ladies and gentlemen and that's that's one thing ladies and gentlemen and here are some of the user experiences my personal self had ladies and gentlemen obviously i'm an introvert i cannot go talk to other girls on the planet i share a lot of things in common with the dating apps and i tried so many dating apps to find the true love of my life but still uh, well i'm single ready to mingle but still i'm single right now ladies and gentlemen well most of the dating apps either tarnish you for a long distance of a life and they try to put an impression on you saying that you're not fit for this world and most of the times most of the people using the dating apps think that you know this is what is happening with their life i think they are you know they're not fit for the world they are not fit for a girl and they a girl or a boy and they you know 
eventually of themselves so please 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 to all the introverts out there ladies and gentlemen there is a perfect girl waiting for you somewhere nearby or far ladies and gentlemen you just have to wait till the right time ladies and gentlemen don't believe what the dating apps are going through obviously i'm not you know uh what is it sharing on any of the dating apps right now and please uh, dating apps if you're watching this video please do not show me or copyright me it is just on my personal opinions ladies and gentlemen but uh well uh if you're needing any mental health ladies and gentlemen there are a lot of sources on the internet to help you get back into perfect shape and get back out of the mental health issues ladies and gentlemen and if you are introvert trying to find a woman and you you know stumbled across the world of dating apps and you still not found a girl and you're still struggling uh, to you know find the perfect partner to live with and you're broken down from too many rejections there's always help out there ladies and gentlemen check it out a promise some girl is out there waiting for you so don't wait for that ladies and gentlemen next up on this list is going to be the you know manipulation of algorithm as they say it ladies and gentlemen well first and foremost as you might know the it shows you how uh, i mean uh, the dating apps tells you the the amount of good pictures that you put on then you go i mean your profile is going to be taken to the top with a lot of you know high end profiles and you get a lot of matches and for that you have to take a lot of photos not only that they tell you that but after you do settle in about i think 6 to 7 photos is what most of the dating apps allow you to add but after that too the main part of that is going to be the fucked up part ladies and gentlemen because even though you have a beautiful set of portraits all from your beautiful nikon cameras or your canon uh, 1dx mark 2 my favorite camera of all 1dx mark 2 or the mark 3 it's going to say yeah you have great pictures but if you want to reach high profiles you have to pay this amount then you're back to the square one on where you started ladies and gentlemen this is how algorithm manipulation works on most of the dating apps that are available right now ladies and gentlemen and next up data privacy concerns is another big factor considering that dating apps allow location so that it shows a woman that are around you but if you're using the dating apps and you know if they ask you to uh, your location and stuff you can that's obviously that's how you find a girl but still there are a lot of you know fake profiles on the dating app that use you for either money laundering or bloop i mean sorry blackmail and other nudity related stuff ladies and gentlemen remember my old instagram account that got hacked yep that got hacked the same way that i told you before ladies and gentlemen so be you know be precise be smart about how you're going to be giving your location if if any other girl or any other man that you like and if you you know if they ask for a location please do not send it ladies and gentlemen have a good conversation try to get their you know phone numbers or try to get their personal numbers try to talk to them on the phone try to match up at a common coffee place or a, you know coffee shop or some other good place and then go on forward with sharing your locations and then other stuff ladies and gentlemen introvert it's nothing to be afraid of speaking to people outside ladies and gentlemen please do not get into the world of dating apps as of right now in the year 2023 because most of the dating apps and most of the profiles that are available on the dating apps are entirely fake ladies and gentlemen i mean 50 50 right with that said again on the next topic ladies and gentlemen as i told you before in app purchases for everything i think uh, tinder has three subs- i mean three types of likes you got the normal like you got the super like and then you can obviously video chat or uh, direct message to the profile that you like well everything costs ladies and gentlemen in a free source i think uh, they award you with five super likes uh, and an unlimited set of normal likes ladies and gentlemen the five super likes is what helps you to reach that profile a little bit quicker than the normal likes normal likes is simply like giving your whatsapp to everyone ladies and gentlemen that's that's no use if you use super like only then your profile gets lifted towards the top that's how uh, dating apps work so five super likes and if you want to gain a little bit more super likes on the first you know every day they give out a super like five super likes ladies and gentlemen for 24 hours it depends on how you use it and if within the 24 hours you use the five likes as uh, super likes and you want to recharge it again then it's going to cost money you can do that for a next 24 hour session or you can do it for a month session or even you can do it in the platinum section which costs about 5k thousand right right when you install the 5k thousand purchase pack i hope nobody has got that but still if you got the 
5000 pack ladies and gentlemen the first thing that they gonna allow you is gonna be as unlimited super likes that they're going to tell you and unlimited amounts of rejections or something like that i'm not sure i have not checked into more detail about the 5000 pack ladies and gentlemen but here's the part it all it i think it is only for four months or five months ladies and gentlemen i'm not sure about that already i told you the amount is a little bit big so i have not invested into that uh, if anybody has purchased that much of our amount sorry first of all but if you are in purchase that and if you know a little bit more about the 5000 pack i mean the premium subscription pack please do post it in the comment section below uh, make sure to lead it so next and next up ladies and gentlemen uh well uh fake profile and cash wishing i already told you ladies and gentlemen i have some points that are written on the screen that's why i'm looking at the screen so much so that i do not forget any of that ladies and gentlemen so please do bear that but anyway I, as i told you before fake profile and catfishing ladies and gentlemen catfishing is nothing but on the profile they might have said they are 20 years of age uh they are male or female but in real life when you go see them it's going to be a 50 year old man asking for random money and nudity related stuff so be careful about that don't just go blankly into the world of you know if they said your location just don't go blank ladies and gentlemen catfishing and also in india there's also stealing of um i mean robberies as well as uh, other attempts ladies and gentlemen that i cannot disclose on youtube for parental related controls but you know what that happening is right ladies and gentlemen so uh with that said this is all that i wanted to sell you did i miss anything did i not miss it anything leave it down in the comment section below it's for you guys to roast me if you like it and and also ladies and gentlemen while you're down there well you know what to do ladies and gentlemen if you have found a girl on you know found and settled with the same girl that you found from tinder obviously lay it down in the comment section below also and i know some people have already you know met the future i mean i met the future in via tinder apps i know one of the greatest youtubers jerry rig everything he he and his you know current wife had met through a dating app similar to that but if you have not don't worry if you have done the comment section is free for you ladies and gentlemen ne next uh, next up ladies and gentlemen i'm going to give you a short tips on how to protect yourself from these dating apps ladies and gentlemen obviously as i told you before well first and foremost make sure obviously you do not give your location you you know unless and until you're fully into that person if you fully trust them and if you have spoken to them via phone or a normal call then try to send your location to them if it's okay with them too ladies and gentlemen if you okay with them try to ask them first for their you know personal number try to call them try to speak them with them for a little bit and then try to send a little bit more you know messages and other stuff that's number one tip for protecting yourself number two ladies and gentlemen if any of the profiles that you have you know matched up with ask you for money or send you a location where you can meet up don't just blindly go ladies and gentlemen resolve into more factors try to talk to talk to them a little bit more try to you know steer the conversation away from you know them asking you about money or meeting you at a certain place try to steer them off and be careful while you're meeting ladies and gentlemen always pre-plan what you're doing and pre-plan the times when you're going to meet up and pre-plan the location where you're going to meet up make sure the location has a lot of people around it and not some you know random uh, what to say a random uh, parking lot or somewhere you know random forest area make sure that you have a nice well lit area with a lot of people in in case if you do get into trouble then you got a little bit source of help from people around you ladies and gentlemen find a cafe bar that is nearer to a police station that may be help there are so many coffee shops that are available real, really really near to a police station that in my area that i know of couple of because you know i have been there uh, well that's all the tips to protect you ladies and gentlemen uh what to say and about conclusions and everything i already told you about that ladies and gentlemen if you are an introvert and you are fine trying to find a girl on any of the dating apps don't worry if you are not yet found any of the you know girls and if you got too many rejections life is simple ladies and gentlemen live it to your life and the perfect girl will come to you when the time comes just stay happy it is practical and it's more important for you guys to have fun and live your life to the fullest it's 
you know, it's one life that you're going to live. Live it to the fullest and don't off with your life so soon, ladies and gentlemen. And if you if you if you're watching this and if any of the persons are trying to, you know, do a bad situation, there are a lot of helps that provide you you and even I could provide help. I don't want money or anything, ladies and gentlemen. If you do want a help and if you do, you know, are involved in this kind of a situation, please do post a message at Instagram at Sunil Silver. Link is down in the description and it'll appear on the page also. Just type a message. I'm suffering from this. This is you know, we too can have a one on one call and maybe I could help you a little bit to resolve from that of you know the mental torture and mental pressures maybe i do have a little bit of contact on where you can get a little bit of mental help too i can maybe share that well that said ladies and gentlemen hope you like this video hope this video was entertaining and informative too ladies and gentlemen if you thought so you know what to do ladies and gentlemen hit the like hit the subscribe turn on your post notification ladies and gentlemen and also uh, october 14th one of the biggest boxing matches in history, Logan Paul versus Dylan Dallas and KSI versus Tommy Fury, available on the The Zone pay per view. Check the links down in the description and it'll appear on the top card right now. That said, ladies and gentlemen, I catch you guys on the next one. Take care and peace.